Starring... Hello. Do you, like me, feel you've got hundreds of crazy characters running around in your head? Unlikely plot lines? Outlandish scenarios? Don't worry. Perhaps it's time to join Friday Night Drawing From Film where you can become the auteur of your dreams, the cineista, the man or woman behind the lens who makes that editorial cut. Why draw from film? Originally, they were called The Movies, and this project does two very interesting things. We stop the flowing sequence of frames, and as we do so, we discover or unearth the art of the director, the compositional genius. And this actually was referenced not by a movie maker, but by Henri Cartier-Bresson, when he said that in every photograph there is a decisive moment, a snap second decision, when you anticipate what is about to happen, all the parts come together, compositionally, psychologically, dynamically, and that added ingredient, that essence, that makes it the perfect split-second choice. The second really fascinating part about this programme is that you draw in the dark. You're not fully aware of what marks you're making, you're not making a drawing for other people, and you can't even really evaluate what you've done yourself until the lights go on. And that opens the doors to a kind of unconscious editing. Because we normally suggest three to four, maybe maximum five minutes on each drawing, they tend to be praises, synoptic versions of the film you're seeing. And we do a lot of drawings in every evening, sometimes as many as 10, 20. And at that speed, you take shortcuts. You do things that you wouldn't have done in the clear light of day, with all the time in the world. We want to see the rest of the film, we've got a drawing to do, we've got a couple of minutes left, and it's really important that you keep yourself to that discipline of a timed drawing and that you progress the film. We're going to be watching some absolute classics of cinema this term, but one of my favourites still remains Abderrahmane Seseko's 2002 classic, Waiting for Happiness a marvellous, enigmatic film, so appropriate to today, it could almost be prophetic. I'm going to show you drawings that I made in one session from that film. Uh, they're not masterpieces, I'm afraid. They're simply my three-minute versions of what I saw. I used a lot of different materials, as I tend to, and in the dark, some of the colours simply don't read, and some do. I tend to use quite a lot of golds and lead, um, graphite. Sometimes one has a little bit more time. It feels as if you can really fill the page and other drawings are just too complicated or too intriguing for you to get close to what you want. Of course, you can always play the film back later and go back to episodes you've enjoyed. Drawing from film is unpredictable and you can think you've got the right frame and then find after a minute or two it's a bit tiring or uh, it's a bit obvious. And then there are clips which, having stopped almost by chance, you find a mesmeric. One thing that is for sure, before starting the evening, you really need to think about the materials you want to use. And I would make this one of the priorities of the, of the event really think about what you'd like to try. So I quite often use Wax Resist because I really like the way it commits me to the design, um, slightly abstract. And then of course with ink over the top, you can get these lovely resist qualities. Black ink and a brush can give you quick coverage, but you're always going to need something that will give you a sharp line that sort of cuts through and gives you profile or mark making. 
not only inks in brush form, but often brush pens can be very uh, adaptable and speedy in terms of recording a surface. I quite like pre-loading my own. Um, this has got blue ink in it, so I might put that over another orange. And with the, the brush pen, of course, you get all the benefits of paint and drawing, and if you want to, mark making as well. But it's a very responsive, fast medium. It can also, of course, be smudged, which is rather nice. And then when it dries, you'll find that other colours, oily colours, can work over the surface. This looks a little primary school, but you'll get the idea that if I'm working within a three minute time frame, I really need materials that will give me fast um, and, and strong results. I would definitely recommend somewhere along the line some lead because of the smudge qualities and the tonality. There's one last thing you might like to consider. When the evening is over, you can also go back over work you've done and make a composite, perhaps draw on top, a little bit as if you were printmaking. And again, I'm making just a bit of a mess in terms of a demonstration, but you can build up a very painterly surface from the drawings that you've done rapidly, maybe a more considered kind of version of what you've done. Some friends who've come to Drawing From Film at the Royal Drawing School have also decided to work not with one piece of tracing paper, but if you like, a moving scroll of tracing paper during the evening to create a linear story. You don't have to use white paper. There are great benefits from using different colors. And I've got three here, a pale blue, a kind of rather beautiful golden brown and a kind of cool um, flamey brown. Now the advantages of using a darker toned paper are that of course it brings white into the equation as uh, a drawing line. Good luck everybody. Leon and Thomas and I, Mark, look forward to seeing you very much this term and it's a uh, good night from me and my friends. Thank <laughs> you.